Bleh. Okay, I'm out of breath now. Alright, let's go. We are very late and behind from yesterday, so... Let's get right into it. Let's get a run. And we're off to the races. Yeah, mirror matches. Hmm. And my thumbs are all messed up from yesterday, so we'll see how this goes. Read tomorrow's first message. Uh, what's up, Gabar? I mean, don't I usually read your first? I mean, let's, let's be honest. You're usually the first one here. So, it's basically already been read. It's like I've already read it already. sense to me. What's up, William S? I, I know what I said, Gabar. I wasn't referring to you. See, people don't listen to me. I They, they really don't. They just, and... Mm. Scroll back ten seconds and re-listen to what I said. Um, what's up, uh, William? How's it going? You know, you, it was funnily enough. What's up, Theory? That whole exchange basically just confirmed just completely off script there you go completely off script that interaction right there basically just matched my description I you can't make this stuff up you just can't. It's 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 actually rather funny. It's just complete coincidence. Um, I don't know. I haven't used them yet, theory. I haven't I haven't used them yet. So, I'll, I'll level them up tomorrow for level up. Okay. You think I'm gonna level them up outside of level up? Psh, who do you think I am? Got a monster does that. Oh well. Uh. See, this is why we need the the, the new word. Volunteer is great. I know literally nothing about it. What's up, Alberto? How's it going? They don't know anything really about the games either, so... Yo, what's up, John Boone? How's it going? Do you really think I have time to play anything else other than MCOC? <laughs> Let's be honest. I 
I, mean, I don't even know what kind of game they are. I don't know if they're like a shooter or like a... Right? Dude, suicides are life. At least for questing. First person shooter open world, yeah. What is it like? PvP? Is it like just like a story game that, that you go through, you can like win, or is it like, I don't even know. Literally know nothing of it. Yeah, certain things at least are too slow without uh, suicides on. Other things, like, you know, it's not that bad, but. Misery, yo! Has it been a long time? Really? I feel like you're in here pretty often. I mean, maybe not the last couple, but couldn't have been that long ago, right? Mr. Arena, yo, what's up, one? I might do a lot of Arena, but it's all for the free-to-play good. Not the King of Arena, no, of course not. Of course not. And despite how much I have, I'm also not 30k units. Which is that him? Him's been forever since I've actually seen him here. Uh, if you know, has he ever been here? Or has it just been forever since I've seen Miles too? I'm not sure. Why? Why would I care? This stupid title means nothing. It's a waste of time. <laughs> Vanity. Again. Who cares? It don't matter. It doesn't matter. It does nothing for you. It's like, oh, look how much time I wasted doing arena. Like, I already do that enough. I, I don't need a reminder. If anybody else wants to know that I do a lot, they can look at my PvP wins. And that that's fair enough. Like I mean that's more indicative than of like doing it a lot than just any one. Now if you've you know done it multiple times and have like the because it's, like, it's like a stackable title thing, like if you do it enough times, like that, you know, but whatever. You know, it's just it don't matter. Anyway, besides point. Ugh, we're back on the schlog. Get my rhythm back. Kind of screwed myself up yesterday. Get through what I need to here. Do arena, or I'm doing arena. Battlegrounds, that's what we need to hit up. Oh, 
bit more. Like, compared to a lot of, like, like, I still don't have anywhere close to as much as BG does, and he doesn't even play Arena anymore. Like, he just... Yeah. Uh, and I'm actually less than Abdo, too. Abdo's got more than I do as well. I'm not as far off of BG as I used to be, yeah, but he's still above me. Yeah, yeah, he used to so much arena. That like I mean that used to be his streams every night. It was you play arena, plus that wasn't the only time he'd play arena. You know? I mean I was I was there super early on when he, you know, did his twenty four hour final push grind for um Uh, cable, and he did over a thousand rounds in, in the single arena. Like, that's just absurd. Like, I did close to maybe 700 between all three rounds, or all three arenas this last round. Um, which is a lot. Yo, AB. Yeah, I mean that's like this, like this is like for me as much as it is for you. Like, it gives me something to interact with that I can, you know, keep myself busy to actually get through arena. Cause it's 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 hard, honestly. It's hard to do arena without something. And so like, like if 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 I'm not watching a stream. Uh, or streaming, it's very hard for me to do arena. Um, and just the timing of it all is not always like a, a stream going that I can watch to like do arena to, you know. It's a win-win, really. Helps me, and it helps people that uh, that want to do it too. I don't see that as an absolute win. My wrist is a little messed up at the moment. Shred news! Well, we um, gotta take care of the essentials first. So, that means a lot of arena. Particularly because, like, I didn't get enough done yesterday in it. Not quite enough. Like, it's close. So we gotta kind of make up for that a little bit today. <laughs> Rank 5 and I said, like, not like, now. No, probably not. By the time I would even ever get to that point where I would, like he just, it, like he already usually doesn't matter. Does not generally concern me. Yeah. There's a lot of champs that can take him. I actually don't have that many in my own deck, really. But I don't come across them that often.
yeah, I'd much rather take a um, Red Guardian over. Over Electro Man. I know, dude, he's... He's pretty ridiculous. He done collapse stuff. The Mystic class just can't compete <clears throat> with the science right now. Science just obliterates them. I mean, even Destroyer, who, like, initially seemed kind of annoying, you can play around him pretty easily. Um... Like, we don't really, I mean, even Sass, Sass, like, the only reason Sassy even really holds up is because he's just tanky. Um, he's just big health pool and, you know, he reduces uh, damage as well. Um, that's basically the only reason. Kindred, you know, similarly, because, like, you have to play it. But even then, if you, if you do it right, I mean, he's, so he's, he's probably one of the second best. Um, Ma, if you don't have, like, a counter. Um, but, like, if you have the counter, like, Mystics just don't hold up. Two minute queue already? Jeez, where are you at right now, Juan? Like you need to, like, I mean, I know there's not that many people in, in the GC right now, but still. Seems kind of ridiculous. That's bad, DTX. That's, like, really bad. Yeah, that's one of the problems with BGs right now, is like, less people are playing, which means in general you're having longer queue times. Um, a lot of the, the non-competitive people don't enjoy the mode. The people that like the, the competition, it's like, the I mean like for me, the mode is save, save the game, really, for me. Um, six rank threes, dang! What's up, Massacre? So, like, I just... And I get, like, it's not fun, like, going, trying to punch way above your, you know, grade and not being able to win, never winning and stuff. Um, but if that's you, that means you're not at the top. There's other things you can do in the game. For me, everything else is done. If I'm not competing in BGs, there's nothing else for me to do. Um, so, I mean, if BGs isn't your mode right now, work towards where it can be. Get all the story content caught up. Get get to work yourself up towards the highest progression tier. That should be the goal. That is that is the point of this game. To to work your way towards the highest level possible. 
to grind to get the, the best you can get to. If you're not working towards that, what, what are you doing? Yeah. It's weird, because it's like... If there was, like, so much other stuff to, like, keep a keep player occupied in doing, might be different, but... See the cup. Yep. Okay. I am trying to dex here. Tier one wart now. I would not. I don't like the way the game is played um, at those levels in in war specifically. I think it's stupid. Um, I get, it, it does absolutely nothing for me. I don't I don't find it fun or interesting. And, I, and I've explained that many, many times. Um, th there are people that do enjoy it, and I, I really can't wrap my head around it that that well. Why? Um, it's just it's just a different mentality about it, really. Don't throw it. Thank you. Oh, where do I start? Um, it, it's really the mentality of the way it's played. Um, I think war has been um, war was never like my my favorite mode to, like to begin with. But I think when they changed it and and have now those the forty percent revives for the level I like to play at that made war absolutely fantastic. Um. Like I said, it's just it's it's just the the way it, it ends up. I I don't know how to explain it in a way that just would necessarily make sense to somebody else. It, it's the ideology between but behind how people it, people play it. And and all the boost stuff, basically. Uh, Jack J, what's up? Uh, day's going well. First tourney. Ooh, nice. Best of seven. Ooh, that's a long one then. One three, then massive comeback, winning. Dang. Why do you think that was Jessica Jones I was fighting there for some reason? No idea. Um, but yeah. But BGs, BGs is the mode.
War, war is just a lot more punishing, really, on mistakes and has an impact more than just on yourself um, as well. Which in and of itself isn't like a bad thing necessarily. But it also requires, you know, a very particular full alliance, not even just BG, you know, cooperation in, in doing it to be at, you know, any particular level. Um well at those at those particular levels at least. Um That all it takes is one person uh, not falling in line with it to, to just screw the whole thing up. See, and, and BG was actually talking about this the other day, too. Um, about, like, he, 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 he hates Extreme Express. And that it, it, it's it's locked behind. Um, you know, a, a paywall. Um, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Because you can't really make a feature like this. There's no... Because if it's available to you, you use it, basically. There's, there's not... There would be no need for, like, a checkbox. That would just be the way Arena then now works. Um, so they can't just, like, make it, like, a, a feature like that and not have, like, some reason. So it personally doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um... I mean, they, yeah, I mean, they could have just made that the quality of life I mean, and sped up Arena for everybody. That, that was one option, would be one option. Um, but giving something like that as extra value to the, to the sigil doesn't bother me at all. The way I see it, like you're basically paying them a premium to save yourself time. That's that's generally the purpose of spending any money in this game at, at all. You're saving yourself time. You're getting stuff ahead of where you would if you would just spend time in the game. Um, and if you don't want to spend money, you spend your time. Um, so uh, doing that in arena, like you want to save yourself time from doing arena to get the same results you spend money for via, via, via arena express i mean if you don't want to do that you're just you're spending just more time overall i don't i don't i don't have a problem with it as someone free to play and do a lot of arena like it doesn't it doesn't bother me Like yeah, I'd rather have the extra ten, my extra ten dollars than save a little bit of time in the arena. <laughs> Cap all of this. You know, and I'm also spending zero dollars and zero cents on on spring cleaning. Uh, but yeah, I. Like, I kind of get the sentiment, but, like, depending, I mean, it's, you know, how you think about it. Like, I, I see no reason, realistically, to be, to get upset over it. Or, or to, like, think it's, like, a terrible, terrible thing. Like, I just... Like, would it be nice if it was available to everybody? Sure. 
But the fact that it's not, is that like, you know, is Kabam like stupid for doing that? I don't, I don't think so. It's, it's a business. They're incentivizing business practice by making it a, a paid, a paid service. I don't know. I mean, that's basically a nerf in and of itself. If it takes you fewer rounds to get any particular milestones, you're getting less battle chips. If you're getting less battle chips, then you're getting less golden units via the crystals. I think that's I think that's a, that's a terrible idea. Um, Like why? Why should you be punished for having stuff ranked up that saves you time? When the in, that in of itself is technically already a punishment uh, in in the the way the system works. I don't see it happening. They're, they're, they feels like they're pretty particular on there being like a particular level of what's available. Um, for free. Um, like combined arenas kept kept the units, you know, the the way you can grind in, in a a three day period the same. When they when they cut out an arena, because there used to be four. When they cut out the arena, they combined two of them and combined the units. They didn't just make it like, oh, we're reducing the arenas. You're also losing out on units now as well. Now they. She's already. Yeah, no, like that's totally fine. We get a special like two star arena like a couple times a year. Yeah, no. Uh, spring cleaning is is a special decurrency event. There's no units. It's a specifically whale event. Bobbles or doubloons or whatever they want to call the currency. It's different every year. But um, the way they do it's the same. Yeah, last year was bobbles. It's been doubloons. I think doubloonies even. Um, some some kind of variation on, on that. It's like Deadpool themed. Um... Yes, there are freebies for bobbles, but there's it's no units. They give a little bit in the mail for the event, and there's um, a arena you can do to get some extra ones for free, and then that's it. The rest come from spending cash. And you can't get anything of any particular consequential value for free. You get like very, very little in comp comparison. It's literally the worst event for free to play because of that fact. There's everything else that you can spend units on, you can you know save up for. Yeah, right. Last year, maxing it out was 36k. Like the year before, like in years before, before the like the last couple, 
it would cap at, you know, 18, like 15, and then they upped it a little bit, like it was 15 still, and then like a bonus three got you like even more stuff. And then that was like the standard for a couple of years. Um, and now it's just gone completely ridiculous. Yeah, they're, they're always right before July 4th. They'll have like some, like, the, I think they usually like the vision offer or something. Or is that the one before? Um. Um. Cyber. Something like that. There's always like something that's like available but like has actually terrible value. Dang. All these guys are immune to poison. That's great. I mean, depending on how lucky I got from the battle chips I have, I mean, I could have a lot, but I currently guaranteed only have 30k. Yeah, arena, arena is ridiculous, but it takes a lot of time. It does. I mean, just hitting milestones isn't that bad, but like the way I do it, because I go, like, if I was strictly only doing milestones, like it would save a lot of time. It's just milestones. Especially depending on, on the size of your roster is like stupidly quick and easy. Like I can hit four million in the basic in thirty rounds, so it takes like an hour over the course of three days. Um a featured Uh let's see. Takes 45, 50 rounds, so slightly more. certain level of, of tedium to um, arenas that doesn't exist necessarily in BGs. Like, the only thing similar, like, BGs can actually, honestly, for me, feel hoarse. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, like, if you're not doing well in BGs. If you're doing well in BGs and you're, like, climbing, but if you're going back and forth in BGs and, like, you could spend hours and not make any, like, visible progress, whereas in Arena, the score is always going up and up and up. It doesn't go down. Chess, welcome back. Yep. That is exactly. Yo, what's up, husband? Everyone's got their hobbies, Chess. This one uh, happens to be mine, and it takes a lot of time. And of course my plane was crapped out. Wow, that was dangerous. Oh, Lorson. Yeah, Kabam loves money. Yes, they do. And they are very good at making lots of it. Fun isn't it? Wait, what? An argument for what exactly? Am I missing something?
Yeah. I mean, that's technically, technically true. Like, I mean, however you want to play the game to have fun in your own way. But, like, if I, I see some ways, like, people say, like, oh, I'm having fun doing this. And I'm like, I don't know how you're having fun in that fashion. Like, I, I don't understand it. It looks terrible to me. Um, great example of that. I, I use Abdo a lot in examples. The way he did uh, Necropolis and just, you know, basically threw revives at it and it was like oh this is loads of fun like I did just I couldn't do it that way like yeah I used a lot of revives but I was also trying to do fights the way they were like intended to be done and not just you know Aegon you know calming up to special three like just Anyway. Don't need to get into that. <laughs> um. Yeah, like, like the collector, like the way he fought the collector was just personally irritating to watch. Um. Those are all great, <coughs> great champions. Treats this Pokemon. I like, I like the collection as well. I finally, um, this happened yesterday, last night. I got the one, the last one star I was missing. I bought uh, ten more crystals. From the uh, the store, and uh, I got uh, I got Stark, so I have all the one stars available now. Which is very exciting. Well, that was my fault. Mine's rank 5, but I didn't actually take 200 of them. <laughs> yeah, he's a defender. I mean, he can be used offensively, but like that's not the purpose of when I draft him. I draft him 99%. I don't think I've ever used him. Have I used him on offense in BGs before? Maybe, maybe once? I don't know. He's usually a defender. He's not a bad attacker. Like he, he's he's just a kind of a ramp up. He can do a lot of damage, but he's a ramp up champion. All right, reminds me. Before I forget, let's go ahead and put the uh, the relic on Prowler.
apparently I started sigging him up. Um, his sig scales very poorly. Uh, I've given him so far like 60 sigs and his like the, the number has gone up less than 10 percent. And at SIG 200, it's like over 400%. <laughs> um, actually, I think it's like over... Actually, it's close to 600%, I think, at max SIG. And it's gone up like 10% in 60 SIGs. Like, that is really poor scaling. I'd love to see the curve on at May. Because it's abysmal. Uh, onslaught on blockable specials. I mean, if you have the... The crush thing, I mean, it would technically... Be sort of, like, unblockable. something here uh, okay well wow, I missed several G's okay hold on yeah okay so we got I was talking wow I missed. how did I miss so many messages in like no time at all um, so you took ascended and ranked up stealthy dang he's no good in the current GC um, yeah because you can't uh, you can't use the debuff for 20 seconds so yeah you'd be no good right now uh, did Abdo I was watching Abdo do the testing and it was like for the first few times he tried it it was kind of hard to watch um, but then my friend had gotten here and um, or no my friend was here So I wasn't like doing that. We started watching anime. Anyway, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not testing Prowler. He's not ranked up. Yeah, Sent Sentinel for Prowler and Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, we were watching solo leveling. I've already seen it. Um, but I watched it subbed and we were watching the dub. Uh, and quite frankly, I actually do like the dub a lot better. The, it has so many, like, recognizable voice actors in all of its characters. Like, it's ridiculous how, like, in just episode one, like, we just, like, hear so many that we're, like, familiar with. It's fantastic. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Alright, uh, yeah, let me, while I'm thinking about it, whoops, not inventory. Where is Lescent Hole? Alright. We don't need that on guillotine. Uh, let's see. Uh, champions. Basic tax, pause it for a little bit. Let's do that. It's only 9% though. Can we up that? I might have to level this thing up. Duration 2. Heck yeah. Bam. That's what I meant to do. Shazam. 
All right, can I? Uh... There we go. Shazam. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll probably use them at some point. Oh. All right, so those have been used. Let's get these guys. Four stars used up. And then uh, gonna do a couple BGs. I don't feel like using the the six stars right this second. Uh, it depends. Like he's a really good defender. If they have a good counter, then like he dies pretty easily. But um, I like him both ways. It just depends on the scenario, which one will be better for. I know how to use just about everybody I got. Um, I know how to use Mantis just fine. Okay, that was my fault. Yeah, she, she's really, really good. stupidly strong. Parky with 97 points. Good luck with that. I'll be like arcane finish right there if you're lucky. Switch magic, you're right. Or the scary. Sometimes, honestly, dude. Sometimes facing people lower, like it's wor it's worse than. Part of it maybe just because like there's more on the line than if you're facing people above you, but like I don't like facing people in like low Mysterium. Like it sucks. I'd much rather face celestial players than than Because, like, sometimes they just have, like, big decks, and they're so much more unpredictable as to what they'll do and how, like, well it'll go. Whereas if you face somebody that's good, and that's, like, good at BGs, like, you can kind of more so, um, kind of predict the flow of the, the match. If you face someone that's not, it, like, it's actually kind of harder. Um... Prowler seems pretty cool. I'll get a, I'll get a messed with once I level them up tomorrow. Yeah, the special two is. Uh, he does need high sig though, so I'm gonna test him at the sig I have him at. I'm, I have the zones. I'm gonna sig him up more, but um, I'm also like keep an eye on how well he's scaling, and like I said, he scales really terribly. Um, like, so far he seems like he scales about as badly as uh, Thor, OG Thor's sig scales, at the moment. Um, Serpent also, so far, seems like he scales pretty poorly. 
But I only gave him 26, so I don't know exactly how he's getting. I just know 20 is basically Sig 1. Um, and Sig 200 is 60% higher than... Um, but like what the in-between looks like, I have no idea. Because that may hasn't been updated in a while. Quantum King. Well, let's hope you can get at least Mysterium. Again, like the, the different brackets, like you want to be in the best bracket as possible, even if you're in the lowest end of the bracket. Because those are where the differences are in like the seven star stuff uh, are at. So like, any level of Mysterium is better than any level of, of uh, Quantum or whatever. Really? Well, that's actually really rather interesting. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah, rank fours get rinsed. Serpent's like a special case. Like, he's just a dick. Um, he's so easy to mess up. And even if it goes, like, relatively well, he's still just annoying to fight. He's actually my least favorite defender right now. Like, I'd, I'd rather fight Bullseyes, and I don't like fighting Bullseyes that much. Onslaught, totally fine. Yeah, Juggernaut can do fights that fast. He's just stupid. That's why I banned Big Jugs. Because of that reason. For that reason, specifically. All right, let's see if he does the spacing this time. I usually wind up back in the corner here. Guy. Nope. 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 Come on. No. Back up. Yeah, because it's it's less so even the cheat death, which is annoying, which he needs the dupe for. Like he's just hard to fight to even get him down to that point, and then like it spirals out when he does hit that mode because like gets the power gain and he's healing, so he's not you can't kill him. Then get double Starkey, like it's up to you. Hmm. Mysterium advice. Mysterium is a choice, man. Well, I'll take that back. Scratch that. Yeah, just like take him to rank three and then you'll really crush him if he's not banned. So. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like, depending on who else I would need to ban, rank three, uh, rank three Starkey dudes would uh, definitely be up there. That's not a lot of seven stars. It's not like a bad either if you have like some good ones, but in the grand scheme of it, there's so many at this point that it's not that's not a lot. 
Like, I've got a decent choke, but there's still a bunch. Like, what? I think number was what? I'm missing five from the original basic pool? Okay, what? Bro. It had so many good ones in it, though, and I'm still missing Hulk from it. I'm missing Domino Dupe from it. There's so many in the basic pool that I still would love to pull, like, either again or first time. Korg Dupe. I still need Mysterio. My Serpent gets banned a good bit. Bishop's the only one I don't have dupe, though. I didn't realize Abdo's Domino was Sig 100. I saw, I noticed that uh, last night when he was playing. He got a rank 3 Sig 100 Domino. I was like, dang! That actually reminds me. Um, I can open up a 7 star today. I need to do a little bit of BGs, get the last um, chunk of 7 star shards there, and then buy the what I'm missing uh, out of the glory store, or to the, the battleground store, and we can open up a 7 star. So we'll get on that. Hopefully get somebody new, or a first time dupe on somebody that needs it. A well, like Domino would be awesome. Hulk first time, amazing. Mysterio first time, amazing. Uh, if I got the Mysterio, actually, I'd have to take him up over Prowler, I think. I like Mysterio. Potentially. I could technically do them both. Well, no, I think I'd run out of tech ISO before being able to do both. Ooh. Actually, do I even have enough tech ISO for Prowler if I wanted to max him out? That's over 600 bricks. Oh. Uh... Yeah, Hulk is, Hulk is ridiculous. I want a Hulk so bad. Need a hold so bad. And Red Hulk could make for an interesting uh, seven star too. Oh. We hope you dupe uh, Serpent. Yeah, dude, that would be. That would be so good, having a duped serpent. Bro. Especially, oh jeez. That's just nasty. That would just be nasty.
certain dupes, yeah, hundred percent. Um, I take the seven star domino for the offensive value. A lot of Domino's annoyance. Um, a lot of Domino's annoyance on D is is just Domino things, rather than like the damage from the the um, the crit fail, which depending on who you're using doesn't come into play anyway, or very minimally. So just having a bigger one to go through to take longer is gonna have more of an impact and have more value offensively because stronger because uh, it's a rank above. So. Depends on who you're using for him. If you're using like a perfect counter for future Ant-Man, like he's a joke to fight. If you're using a less than ideal counter, it depends on if his if his AI is cooperative. If his AI is cooperative, he's not that bad to fight. If you get unlucky and don't have uh, the counter, and his AI is is in cooperative, then you're in just for a miserable time. Kind of, yeah. I think I'd rather it be available like in game somewhere else. Um, I mean, even just as part of unit deals, as like you could get it free to play for having ground up the units in game. Um, but I think as like part of some actual like content, difficult content. I mean, not just like act content probably, because like that's just too easy. More of something like doing the. The, the Necropolis 100% sort of challenge, getting a, something from uh, it from that, that I'd be much more okay with. And I'm um, just like, ever the first ever one being like, okay, they're a thing now, give us $100 for it, or however much it is. Yeah, Necro was too early for him. And realistically, the biggest expenders don't need him. They don't need an Awakening Gem because they they get an Awaken. They, they, they have more value in Sig Stones than an Awakening Gem. Um... So, yeah, but two, two years down the road, the rewards will be less valuable, although they'll still have value because of the unique stuff in there and the master point stuff. Like the rank up stuff will be less valuable. The, the amount of 7 stars you can get, less valuable. The uh, biggest valuable thing for 100%ing will be, you know, the unique 7 star and the, the base pool selector if you don't happen to not have them all because the pool is getting bigger. Um, Uh, it ends May 1st, Lorson. <laughs> yeah, it is really nice right now to have it, like... I don't take advantage of it, like, a hundred, like, all the time, but, like... 
when you can. Like, it's really nice. Birthday May 1st, nice. It's a May baby. What you're doing, chess? They're very different champions and serve very different purposes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, that does remind me, though, I need to claim the the daily. I think from the warp store. To some extent, yeah, I, I think that's I think that's true too. Like that's why I do as much raid as I do is because I'm I'm trying to get something out of it, and I enjoy that, you know, overall. Like in on in the individual level, I do like fighting, but like doing so much of it does get tiresome at sometimes. Any one arena fight is like totally fine, but like. Doing it for hours and hours on end for like big champ grind. Um, uh, I'm ignoring the question. Uh, well, you actually didn't answer a or ask a question. I'm ignoring your statement because you didn't answer what I had asked. What you said is completely irrelevant to what I said. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I'm very particular, and I say things very in a very particular manner. If you miss out on the particularities, like that's that's not my fault. That's you not paying close enough attention to what I'm trying to say. Do 
Yeah, seven star could be cool, but like he does actually need want his sig to get like the most out of him. So like a six star maxed out would be better until you could get him up to like rank three. And would I rank three red card? Um, not before rank four is probably. And he wouldn't get rank two. Um, without having the sig of, uh, availability to make him better than. Uh, maxing out a six star. So, I'd actually prefer that he isn't a seven star for the time being. <sighs> I prefer Gore myself. I don't care much for Aegon. Like, he's good for what he does, but he does that one thing, and there's other champions that can do it too. Like, he has no use elsewhere outside of, like, the big stuff like Necropolis. He's not really a questing champion, although you can use him for that. He's less valuable for it now than ever because of, you know, the way quests are structured, but um, he's got no BG value, he's got no war value. Um... Because of other champions, realistically no general questing value. Even though you can use them for that, there's just like you're wasting your time if you're trying. That was my fault. feel like running through the six stars right now so I'm not going to um, so I'm gonna go top off my drink and um, while I do that I'm actually gonna let this auto no I'm not okay because I'm, I'm having a thing I'm trying to do um, so we're gonna go here but I'm gonna get myself a drink I'm gonna wash my hands and uh be right back Ugh. We have a drink now. Oh. This is bald Ay, ay, ay. Shut up, Gore. What's up, Mass Legend? How we doing? Uh, actually, we need to restart the game. Did I do that? I don't remember. Uh, let me check these real quick. So we are 
Still in the in the keeping track of matches. We've done 45 this season. I've got at least 15 to maybe 18 more matches to do with Elders Marks. Um, if we could win at least 12 matches out of what I want to do, more the better. But if I can win at least 12 of the subsequent matches that I'm doing with Elders Marks, we'll be in a good spot. So. from noon. What? This could go interesting. Chest tax sweet. No. Definitely not. Interesting deck. Very, very interesting deck. Between those two, I would personally go with Chavez. the diets. Ban in box. to you chess I am gonna play this mode the way I will play it okay I don't know. I 
don't know how well this is going to work. I think I lose this one. This is not a great start to the... Yeah, but please, like, you, you honestly... It, it's, it's getting old and annoying, Chess. so much damage oh my gosh oh we actually could have had that we lost so much health there bro uh, I wasn't expecting that to win anyway to be perfectly honest You're not stopping. I am going to time you out. And if you keep it up, I will just get rid of you entirely. If my computer will let me do it. I'll have to come back to this. Hold on. like we came back so Sheesh. um yeah I've never heard of this dude from noon either so no idea I think we lose now, though, so. <laughs> I don't have anybody to fight Bullseye with. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Seven Star Wicked, not bad, not bad. He's alright. I think we lose. I think we're screwed. Oh, why did I do- okay, that was my fault entirely. I was like, yeah, let me just- Yeah, 
it would have been okay, but... This could not have gone any worse. I, I could not do that fight, like, at all. Ah, oh, He was uncooperative, and I messed it up, and, yeah, no, I could have, whatever. I, I messed this whole matchup, quite frankly. Like, it was going okay until it wasn't. Starting off with a loss, lovely. That's not great. That was my fault, though. I'm not in the victory track. We're in the gladiator circuit now. Not off to a strong start. really isn't the um apparently for some reason it seems weapon x is bugged in the meta and not getting charges is, uh, is what i've heard which is uh rather unfortunate Which, I can't think of a reason why. I looked at his description after I found that out, and I'm like, I can't see any reason why that would be the case. Um, like, straight up. Yeah, for some reason. So, again, it's bugged. Like... What are you going to do? It's pretty filthy. All right. Not too bad. Woohoo, baby! That was close, though. 
get wrecked, boy! Alright, have yourself a good one, man. Good luck with that. That was extraordinarily clean. And I dug it. Very much so. Alright, dude, do we have a mirror match? Who does it better? Like, I have to go, I have to punch up fighting this, uh, this Killmonger over, over what he has to do. But, let's be honest, I think I've got the better chances, right? Just because, you know, I'm that good, right? Like I said, I'm just that good. <laughs> um, quaking Electros, really? I don't know, I just... Quake, man, I don't like her. I finished with more health and 13 seconds faster. Fighting a bigger Killmonger. Oh shoot, that reminds me. Have we have we hit it yet? Hold on. We need to open up a seven star. Do we hit the uh, the thingy? No, we need to do at least two more matches and win them. And then we can open a seven star. Um So. Alright, so we're one and one on the day. I'm, I'm just saying, man, like, God, that ghost. Interesting. Hey, we're in Mysterium. Wait. I was in Quantum with, like, what, 31? Am I, what, 33 in it? Now I'm in Mysterium 3. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Those are really big jugs. Just cause like, once he gets out of, like he can still go pretty quickly. Go ahead and get, just, it, it's that big, I'm gonna get rid of him. Ghost Impersonator. Right. Since November, dang, you need to get that sucker duped. Howdy, what's up, Casey? Then 
unfortunately, that stupid, um... Alright, that works. Cool. Uh, probably next Friday, yeah. What's up, Nuggy? You doing alright? Again, I am very confident in my ability to Hulkling this. He's probably gonna, uh, kitty it. Really? Now he's gonna Hulkling it too? I am just good at this sort of thing, man. You're not gonna... You're not gonna beat me at it. It's not gonna happen. Like, it's. <laughs> I love this matchup. You, you're not beating me doing it, man. I just. It's not happening. Hulkling is, like, one of my favorite, most consistent Nick Fury matchups. 27 and 1? Dang! Get wrecked. Like, my guy, like, you're just, it's not happening. It's just not. Wow, that's definitely, I mean, that's doable, technically, but, uh... Yeah, that's an insane streak, man. That is crazy. What the crap? How did you get the in and I didn't? Come on. Dude, I'm getting garbage on this right now, though. Like, what the heck? I hit him like five times and I took like ten. <laughs> what the heck? That was so stupid. So stupid. Yeah. Freaking. What the heck? That was abysmally awful. I lost. In the first five seconds, I lost half my health. That was so bad. Oh my gosh, what was that even? Look at that. Successful hits, 28, I took 12. Most of those were to the face. Uh, I thought that was a rank 5. Oh, it was only rank 4. Well, no wonder.
Yeah, uh, Necropolis gives you gives you one on completion. Kindra's not even that bad. I had a good option for him. It just I got no inputs to work. So I was like, what? Well, that's definitely going to go. Sheesh, okay. What is this deck? Uh, 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 yeah. Panicked! I panicked! I panicked so hard! Okay, I want to try Ghost. I haven't tried Ghost yet. Oh, man. Go ahead and take this down. Yeah, that was, that was ridiculous. That was a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I don't know. I, this is not a, like in my favor in the slightest. Let me do my show. Serpents. I'm gonna go ahead and try and, and sassy this dude. Yeah, <laughs> the drafts on this were a bit wonky. He did not miss the uh, the light this time. Okay, what? Times cheese. Uh. Right, I'm going to try this again. I lost so much health last time just because the way it did everything timed out. I need him to throw a heavy. Go.
I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just take so much damage here. so bad yeah uh i didn't have an option there i had no no option there oh give me a second i need to check the door real quick my friend. He left something here last night. His earbuds. Whoops. Gets you at the door. Uh, we're two and two. We're doing terrible. Uh, this is this is not not great so far for our season. Oh, this is rough. I just I had no option there. I didn't get my Kate, I didn't get Chavez, I had I had no good option for that fight. Ugh, so bad. He's like extra annoying this minute. This is her, hey. Stream snipe IRL. deal with you, huh? I'm betting he does this. Uh, well, well, we'll see. I'll give it to him. Sig titanium at that.
Dude, what? What? What just happened? Dude, I cannot... Dude, I can't dex right now. It won't let me. Dude. Dude, let me dex. Jeez. Unbelievable. Yeah. What the crap? Dude, I could not get any single input to happen there. What the crap? I couldn't dex, I couldn't move forward. Unreal. Like, I lose this one. Really? Ho! Oh, okay. Yeah, I got lucky. Yeah, that was abysmal. That was so awful. Dude, I definitely miss his damage with recoils on. Cause like I like him for BGs, but like, dude, he's so much slower without recoil, it's absurd. Like that damage is so nice having recoils on. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Fortune favors the well, right? What? Okay, that one was my fault. Oh my gosh. That was, that was stupid. <laughs> it was so bad. A hundred, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I said a hundred percent. Yeah, that's fair. That one makes sense. Oh. oh, bro, that was stupid. That was so dumb. Totally fine, though. Totally fine. Yeah, Gambit's, Gambit's decent, you know? He does uh, those things. All we need to do is get to our special three, and it's Jover. Uh, in fact, we might actually not even need to do that. Ooh. 
No. No. No! Oh my gosh. That was entirely 100% my fault. Shit! <laughs> we got it! Oh. Oh my gosh. That was, um, that was bad. It's fine though. That's that's five, right? Five matches today, and I've lost two. Yeah. Oh, what the game is the band? Uh, this meta, probably, maybe. It depends on what else they have. Uh, that was our two wins, right? Yes, it was. All right, we are gonna get ourselves a seven star right now. All we need to do is... Where's the 7 star shirt? Why is this out of order? Gah! Alright, we need, what, 6 more? Let's do it! You bless me with the Hulk? Oh, that would be great. Hulk would be... Oh, fire. Be fire! Let's go! Oh, dude, hype would be so good too. It wouldn't be like good right away because like I want him duped, but like it'd be a good starting point. That is not good. That is so bad. I think that's a prestige increase slightly, but that's about it. That's unfortunate. Lame! And we're so far away from a Titan. We need 5,000, or... No, we'll need 6,000 still. Because uh, it's, what, 2,500? So we need 6... No, it is 25. I was thinking 50. It's 2,500, so we need 5,000 more. Ugh. Which, again, is... 10 du... Well, 9, nine dupes. We need 9 more 7 stars duped. And we'll get a, a, a Titan. Dang. Pretty sure that upped my prestige slightly though, right? 22, I think, hold on. Let me, uh, let me look it up. Aunt me. Pretty sure, uh, let's see, Titania, I'm gonna, uh, wait, no, Mojo's in my prestige right now? Hold on. Yep, nope, Sunspot took over Mojo. So, Mojo's back out of the Prestige, Sunspot's back in. So it's Sasquatch, Chavez, Domino, or sorry, sorry, not Domino, she's not duped yet. I had her in there, that's my bad, hold on. Wait, Domino's still in there. So it's Sasquatch, Sunspot, Domino, Titania, and Sunspot's my Prestige. Yo, what's up, Yusafa? Yeah, my prestige sucks. Um, cause I don't. My highest sig champ is sixty. He's not even in my prestige. Um, like, what would it go to if I dupe Domino and give her all the sigs, and she goes up to sig seventy? If I do that, what is that up my prestige to? So from twenty one. Uh, 182, champ prestige, to, to 21824. So dup duping Domino and taking her up to, like, her, her prestige is, like, low. Like, what does it go even at, like, 1, 150? That's when it, like, really goes up. But at 70... It's like, it's still low. 
670 Domino is just barely above 640 Sasquatch. But it still ups my prestige by, what, 700? Duping her and giving her the SIGs? Um, no, not 700. It's six 640 or whatever. But what's up, Yusafa? How, how have you been doing? I, this is a kind of a rough meta, to be honest. Like either you guys like a really good fast time or kind of a sucky time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prestige, man. Crazy. But how you doing, Yusafa, man? Welcome. Always a pleasure seeing the uh, the best free to play in here. Mid like Lurson. Oh, oh, burn. Uh, that's rough. That is rough. Ouch. Oh. Some dry ice for that one, because that one was. Whew. Brutal. Brutal. Um, dude, I think we can just roast that dust so hard. You know, I'm gonna take this dude. Yeah, just about to get collapsed. Dude, du dust is. Dust is about to get murked. Could even do it with freaking this dude. That sounds like a better idea. Yeah, she's she can be squishy. I think we'll do it with Starkey. Um, maybe. We might actually have to do it, Ghost. It just kind of depends on what the whole draft is looking like. Okay, yeah, it looks like we are going to have to do it with, um, with Ghost, but it's alright. It's alright. It's sight. I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's do a let's do a let's do a fury fury. I'm feeling confident. Seven star shocker. Well, that wouldn't have been any recent because he hasn't been available for a while. Oh, we're dead. 
I ran into that one. Chavez is way better than Gore. Oh my gosh, dude. That would have been such a freaking... <laughs> that was so bad. That was so bad. Oh, that was, that was so bad. It's going perfectly fine until it wasn't, basically. I don't see me actually winning this one. This is going to be a bit rough. The next meta is the, the war tactic. AW meta, yeah. my gosh, dude. The one time I need him to auto evade, he doesn't. Freaking. Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't want to take the recoil. I, I knew he was going to be fast. I was like, I'll take the extra second. I want to have the health. Um, and it backfired on me. If I, I would have won, I think. Freaking. Dude, I'm doing so abysmally awful. Like, straight up. I'm 3-3. Three and three. Like, I'm, I've literally gone back and forth every match. Well, I did win those two, but then I lost back and forth. Yeah, this is so stupid. I should have won both of those. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You suffer. <laughs> Darn you, man. <laughs> oh, you suffer. You suck. Come on, bro. Get that out of here. Get this guy out of here, too. Golly. So stupid. Oh. Dude. So ridiculous. Unfair grounds, exactly. Exactly. Filthy. Oh my gosh. So stupid. Actually bonkers. Oh, I needed that really bad.
Oh, bro. <laughs> Fabian, yeah, dude, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. The numbers, man, they're just, they're just outlandish. I'm just outdrafted, like in just sheer size. Like, there's legit like nothing I can do. Tastes salt. Uh. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. At least I got a good matchup here. If he's not going to be useful, I'm not going to run him. have to throw a special. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Let me guess. Ate a special too. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, dude, that, it's so easy to get clipped by that and you're just wrecked. <laughs> It was like ridiculous luck with the Furies. I didn't have to hit him that many times. That was, oh, what? Oh my gosh. What? Dude. What the crap? Come on, yeah. Thanks for the parry. expecting to win that one anyway to be honest so that was so stupid it's not my fault
GG's, you suffer. Ugh. That was close. That was actually really close. If I had gotten clapped up any more by Warlock, or if he had, like, thrown a miscellaneous special or something, I think he would have had that. <laughs> So we're at four and three now. Ugh. Your deck is as scary as ever, though, man. I got very lucky that it just panned out that way. Gah. I think I had you pretty solidly here, even if you didn't get eat that. I'm assuming you ate a special too. Um, mine just went super fat. No, it was basics. Basics did you win? Something happened. I figured it was. I, th I figured you ate a special too. Um, this one I kind of figured I was losing anyway, and then obviously I had the disconnect, which didn't help. Uh, and this one was actually fairly close. Dang. Definitely could have had me that third round. Uh, it was just a little bit too much health lost. All right, we're going to restart the game again because that was so bad. Uh, let me just check these real quick. Pretty sure, yeah. Yep. It's my friend letting me know he was here. Yeah, cool. Benevolent whale. Uh, I'm doing so bad. I should not be going 50-50 on these when I'm using the Elder's Marks, man. So bad. Alright, that was, what, f I said 4 and 3. We'll do one more. i got to burn a little energy, and then I'm going to... Uh, I need to do some more arena. Uh, I, wait, no, hold on. Now that should time out about right. Um, so yeah, it's four, four, and so one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, yeah, so we've done seven. And that was not the reason I lost. Um, um, I, that's only a rank two Titania, right? Yours isn't rank three? Um, no, it is right three. Never mind. Um, yeah, it definitely could go faster. Uh, and there's probably just a little bit on the, the... I didn't actually look at where the sources of damage were. It's definitely doable with, with high health. Um, yeah, it's just all, all block damage. 
The block damage is super punishing, especially with recoils. And if you get like that crits in the block, bro, it's it's bad. You gonna rank him down? Huh. Oh, I would love a rank two buster. I'm not gonna be ranking Shocker down, but. It's alright. Uh, shield, shield trap. Okay. That's an inventory. Dang. Okay, these are actually all really bad for me. Hulker Chavez. So what? Rank, if we're talking rank three, um, like whoever you want more, realistically, it's rank two. Both. Who I'd do first? Probably Chavez. Yeah, undupe. Yeah, definitely not. But it definitely needs the dupe. Yeah, and that's, yeah. Sorry, you've been doing me really good, actually. Let's keep, uh, let's keep it calm. Yeah, what's up, Judah? Uh, and congrats, I saw that you had streamed yesterday too. How did uh, how did that go? Um, it popped up on my feed uh, this morning. I need. I don't have. No, I'll have to do it that way. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the GC. I'm in that GC. Alright, let's give you... Onslaught first. Here's Oni Boy. I'm gonna start here. And hopefully not screw it up. That would be great. Starkey, man, he's like, yeah, he wants his dupe, but like, doesn't need it. <laughs> his crit rate's good. You just can't use him versus anybody that has crit resist without it, realistically. He's gonna slow him down a little bit, but in this meta, like, he definitely doesn't. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Get clapped, boy!
Judge Jams this minute. Yeah, right, dude. Like, just get wrecked. Kill boy. Also kill boy, and I win. So, ta-da. You know why I win? Because I'm that good! As long as we don't get clapped, we're, we're fine. As long as he follows me, we're good. DTX, will you win one? Oh, DTX, you scrubbed! You scrubbed! Dude, this meta is actually like when it when the drafts are reasonable, it's a lot of fun. Like fighting a champ that you have like no option for, and you just have to like just use your high damage. Like it's you're probably losing. But if you have like a workable option, it's actually a lot of fun. Woo, boy. All right, so we're what? Five and three? One, two, three, four, five and three. Yeah, we're five and three. So eight total today, five and three. It's not great. It's not great. Uh, what was it that I need to do? I need to burn some energy. Players, zero mistakes, right, right. Uh, that was a good match, though, you saw, but I was unsure of the direction that was gonna go. Uh, like, I, I, I thought you were gonna have me, to be honest. Definitely could have. I mean, you might as well. This is the way I'm gonna do it. <laughs> the way I'm doing it. It's technically like, but this is the like. If I'm using the energy this way anyway, I might as well do it this way. I don't want to like waste as little energy as possible. Yeah, we got a good group in here. What's up, two? Uh, if you really want to see something cool, I can show you um, how to cheese the other one really well. so much thing is too much BGs really but uh, yeah what's up Afo
Ого! Сикс лиз 5. Лиз 5. Да, дуд. Я 5 и 3 со фар сегодня. Это не очень хорошо. Not a not a great start. Ten and one since yesterday. Dang, that's good. That's real naz. like pretty different champions uh both are great and like that's a, a miserable comparison chess like like it's it's not how you should think about rank ups it's like what is what is going to change with a rank up for you does it add anything to what you're trying to do with them What does it make better? Like you want to make best decisions. What makes what is best for you depending on what you're doing? Well, if you've already decided you're not going to, then why pose the question? don't want to rank up somebody for whatever reason, then just don't. Like, I might be... I don't need to be nice about it, like... Yeah, uh, I mean, that's... I did end up losing, what, I lost nine times in the uh, victory track? It wasn't great. Definitely could have been a little bit better. Low enough. I think it should give me about roughly the time we needed for the four stars to have res start resetting. Maybe. I'll have to double check how long we got. I see it now, but it doesn't make any sense. In certain scenarios, yes, Titania is better than Hulk. In other situations, Hulk is better. It's not objectively one is better than the other. It's situational. So we should be really, really close. And we gotta do 20 more stupid... Uh... That is a really cool... Dude, I'm gonna. I think that's gonna be my profile because that actually looks really dope. We need 20 more one uh, one stars. Yeah, we're one match away from finishing the solo event. This one's just kind of annoying, but that profile is sick. Um, and it's just the shards and the profile, but it does look really really cool. So 
how we do that one is we go over here into issues. Uh, sorry, not back issues. Special quest. Uh, road, chapter two, quest uno. And we take Bishman. And then we go Storm, uh, Electro, uh, and this dude. Let's hold on. Stick small storm and small electro. I'm at 50 something in the GC at the moment. And uh, bam, that is uh, three three fights. We're up to 19 from 16. And then you just do it again. Kind of a stupid interaction, but yeah, it's whatever. I mean, that's how they designed Bishop. It's not like a bug or anything. It's just stupid. Um, and there we go. Three more. So you still have to, you have to do that 50 times, but like it's definitely the easiest way of doing it. Um, then go with Holt. Okay, we still have... Never mind. We got another BG match worth before we can do it. Oh, for their objectives? Like, I don't... The way they designed it, it's not like something that would naturally just happen in something like Arena, like all the other... Like, most other objectives. Even, like, the one-star ones. Like, the ones like that, like, it just... Like, the ones that'll happen if you just play the game and it'll just happen naturally, if they're too specific... DTX, come on, bro. Bro. 
Trying to get points here, man. You joik. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thought you had it. <laughs> um. I mean, come on, let's uh, let's just be honest here. Dude, what the crad? Like, how did I not get the in there and I just lost all of my health at the very start of this fight? Like, what? That was so stupid. It was legit so dumb. That was so stupid. Unreal. Oh, man. Chavez, man. Ridiculous! <laughs> she cooks so hard. Dang, that was clean. And fast. What? Bro. 
That was... That was a little ridiculous, DTX. I didn't... What? What? Without taking a recoil hit? I'm just going to take so much damage here, though, is the problem. It's going to be ridiculously fast, but I'm going to lose so much health. Okay. Yep. Ah, oh, jeez. Electro does so much in that in that just dam like he dies so fast, but you take so much damage. Cause this isn't really where she shines specifically. I haven't had the opportunity, a good opportunity to use her. Uh, puts me what five and four. Yeah, five and four. Jeez, so bad. All right, one more. GGS. Like I, I didn't have the good ordering there. I, I had to win this one, which I definitely could have. Definitely could have won this. It would have been close, though, because, like, dang. He did it really, really well. But, yeah, there's nothing I could really do versus the Electro. He's a, a bit of a problematic right now. Um, Alright. Some weird ones, but okay. I'm not really threatened by much of those lower ones, so... Hmm. I was very surprised at the speed of that, that piggy fight, though. Prowler would, yeah, that's true. He would indeed. Uh, rank him down? No, I'm not Robin Guy. I'm not gonna do that. Not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jeez, of all the languages chose to speak facts. Dang! That's such a weird, like, him not moving when you do the, you know... Whoa! Okay, that hurts. Gosh, dude, throw! God, I hate Serpent so much. Parian's annoying. Super duper annoying. Screw it. I'm doing it with Masakre. I think I got him beat with this. Sometimes you'll see hard. Right, dude. Just slapping it. Oof. Oh, Masakure, man. It's, it's nice. It's really nice. I was like, yeah, this will work just fine. Like, when you have reasonable options, like, the meta's fun. It's fun to do the nuke. It really is. But when you don't have, like, a fun option, like, what? That's six and four, right? So we one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we did ten matches, six and four. That's not great. Really not. Alright. Well, let's get these run. God, so bad. So bad. Sheesh. That was weird. All right, let's see if we can get Nightcrawler to do the thing. Like the spacing, I know what the spacing is. It's just a matter of actually getting it to happen. There we go. Oh, what? Dude, we had it too. There we go. Nope, dude. Oh, no, I backed off. Dude, I'm doing the light at the wrong time. Come on. Nope, I blocked. Dag nabbit. Come on. Back off. Nope. Dude. Just, just, okay, well, that works, whatever, you're dead. I, I know his basics hit really hard, but, yeah, it's boosted from the recoils, I'm aware of that as well. 
Like, you can't place any for 20 seconds. I guess plus, you know, the recoil, like him, if you have him throwing specials, I guess that makes a little more sense. Because he's also losing health on the recoil as well. Yeah, eh, I guess that makes a little more sense. But I'm like, dang, that's like as fast as it would be without recoils, or, or like in a normal meta. Um, it's like that, you know, 40 to 50 second range for that matchup. So I figured the the meta itself would kind of actually slow that matchup down, but for tough for defense. It depends on who you're using uh, and the nodes and stuff. It's not like particularly tough if you know what you're doing. One just kind of slight annoying thing is you can't punish his specials uh, unless you have a miscounter. It's just a slight nuisance. And the non-contact, so you can't like parry his medium. It's just got a couple annoying features, but his health pool is like really kind of actually small. Oh, definitely struggling more than I thought I should to have right now. I do have to be careful though, because I I still need energy and stuff for whatever, but I don't have that many refills. And we're almost at Elder Mark, so I think I think we're gonna call it at the ten matches, six and four for the day. It's really not great. I gotta save the energy for doing other stuff. Yeah, Chav Chavez. Oh my gosh, Chavez can just with the boosted attack, just because I have a rank three, just collapse. Uh, it's just get to a special two, throw that, they die. Um, <laughs> she hits so hard. Like, I did that versus a Shuri as well. Um, she didn't throw a single special, so there was no, like, extra recoil. Like, I just got to my special two, threw it in the one cycle like that. She died. I got slightly lucky cause, because of the armors. Like, if it hadn't crit, like, it actually wouldn't have killed her. But I just went YOLO on it and uh, paid off. Uh, Elsa, 100%. Who is who I would prefer? I, it would maybe slightly depend on the other nodes. Um, specifically for her. Elsa would be better. However, Stealthy probably be better in more matchups uh, than an Elsa. As good as Elsa is, I think Stealthy, Stealthy could probably actually handle more. Um, so I think I changed my mind on that. If you actually have the, the Ascended Stealthy, um, it, it'd be really tough. I'd say slightly meta dependent, and like if you needed him for other matchups. I think Elsa probably might still do photons better, faster. But I feel like Stealthy could do more matchups than Elsa could. Stealthy's another one I want to get up there at some point because I do think he's like really, really good. haven't uh yeah i know I, I i get more viewers when i'm doing bgs and that's fine but i can't do bgs 100 percent of the time either no not as many people want to just you know hang here while i do arena and you know do whatever's but yeah that's fine it's all right 
when we get into where when I can really just like strap down and do like a few hours of just straight BGs, like we'll we'll be fine. We're winning. I I'm like 50 50. I mean six and four, slightly above 50, but like that's a 60 percent win rate today. That's not great. Um, it's really really awful. I mean, it's relaxing at, at the at the least. I mean, it's it's not like you need even to focus on it. I mean, we can. I don't have to focus on it as much. I can look at the chat more, and just you know, we can talk about whatever you know. We can really get into game stuff because the mode itself requires so little of my attention, as opposed to BGs. Like, it it requires me more of my focus, even outside of just like an individual fight, because I'm always thinking about like what my plans and stuff are, like there's just too much in my head at once. But in Arena, like it's just click and go, basically. It requires so little thought that we can just do whatever. Which means we can chat, we can talk, we can, uh, we can do whatever. It's not like a self-distraction to you know, do that. We can just like, look, okay, you got my parry, got my end, I'm comboing, good. I throw a special great. Let's do it. I can look at the chat. I can read it. Whereas BG is like it takes my entire focus and like it, that's the distraction. Like to of the between the uh, being able to look at chat. Global legend. Really, you're in global a lot still, Ramen. Ay, ay, ay. I went through that glass of tea way too quickly. Depends. Depends on if you're in global or depends on if you're a legend or not. The global guardian. Ouch. Depends the day. Again, that doesn't answer my question. <laughs> Still didn't answer my question. Am I really that hard to understand? Like, seriously. Like, I, I feel like I'm misunderstood so frequently. Like, in here, like, but also, like, I guess this happens more more so than, like, in Max's stream. That might be, like, a Max thing. Come on. Didn't switch. Darn. Uh, I guess part of it is, like, he just, when he reads a comment, like, he'll just read it incorrectly. You got Hurricane Doom. Dang. Yeah, wasn't there like some like champ selectors or something? There usually is. I'm just so misunderstood, guys. Nobody gets me. Yeah, I know. I love Max though. He's he's one of my favorites to just kind of chill in. Like I, I love Max. He's one of one of my one of the guys I love. Like whenever he's going, like I want to be watching him. You know. But like, he struggles to read comments like specifically. When he's reading like a champion abilities, he does it like very really well. Like he doesn't like skip or miss do work generally. But like reading YouTube comments, like he screws it up like eighty percent of the time. Yeah, misery and theory are not the same. No, they were, they were both in here earlier though. M misery misery was uh was here earlier. <laughs> yeah, 
Max is great. I love Max. We all love Max. He's a chill dude. It's great, great, like, production value in his streams, too. Like, with everything he has set up, like, it's a great time in there. Super chill, super laid back. Just a fun guy. Misery's a lot sadder. <laughs> yeah, his, his, his setup is like great. He's got like how many different camera angles he can switch between? He's got at least like four. Plus all of like the, the commands he has with that, you know, pop up different things. Or like have different like uh, clips, audio clips that play. I, that's one of the things I like about KTs is like the the clips that'll that'll pop up. Some of them will like, feel like slightly too long, and I feel like they'll often like play it like the same. Like it'll play it twice, and like goes a little bit long. But overall, like they're great little clips. Like if you could like have a clip pop up for like three to five seconds, more than that is, is a little little much, but. Like, just a little little snip. I think that's great. I need to figure out how to do something like that. Or at least, like, the audio clip, too. For, like, commands and stuff. I feel like that would add a whole lot um, to, to the stream for just, like, clips. Lefty, really? Yeah. I'm not in his a whole lot. So I haven't... I've, Maybe I'm just not in it enough to notice that. Um, but he also... And part of that is like, you know, that's kind of the way he does it, but also... Um, he's not like exclusively MCOC stuff, like he plays like... other games and stuff on his channel. And... I'm part of like the MCOC stuff, like that's all I really care about in here. What the heck is that? Okay, yeah, it's just fuzz. It's like, it looked like an insect. Um, a stream deck, yes, that's for like, like basically like a hotkey for for different actions. Um, you still have to like attach that. It's not just like, oh, you plug it in, and it's you know good to go. As far as I know, um, I should be able to set it up. Uh, and obviously, like, a stream deck helps with that, but it also can only have so many keys. I feel like I can set it up easily enough with just, like, my keyboard, if I have the right thing going, and just have that, like, clips set specifically. Um, if I wanted to, like, play it manually, I could just hotkey it. Um, I feel like that should be doable. Oh, it would for sure be doable, actually. But it would it'd basically require... To do it manually, as well as, like, have it, like, stream do it, I'd have to... It would basically have to be duplicated. I'd have to have it hard, like... I'll say hard-coded. It's not really the right word for it. But hard-coded into the sh uh, OBS to have a hotkey set to it. And also have it as, like, an alert through Streamlabs or whatever you're using at Stream Elements through them so that like it, you can do it through like YouTube chat so it'd have to be basically there'd have to be basically two copies of it um for how I'd think for how I'm thinking I would need to be able to do it to set it up I could probably pull it off but to have like it's like I said if I'd have to duplicate it and set it up I'll have to I could it's not that I wouldn't be able to figure out is just take the amount of time it would take me to actually pull it off I mean it took me I don't even know how many hours to set up the stupid replay thing um, and that's like pretty dang simple well part of the problem was like I was trying to set it up in in Streamlabs OBS and the only way to pull it off the way I wanted it to look was to switch everything over to OBS um, which I'm glad I did, because, like, the setup for it, I honestly, is way better. I like it a lot more. Um, 
it's a, it's a little bit more powerful rather than the, the way uh, uh, cause like with OG like you can like find plugins and like basically add them to your OBS whereas Streamlabs it's like it's basically set like everything's like default Not great, Nugget. I went six and four. Um, so, not too hot. I got about I got about eight more, eight or nine more matches to do with Elder's Marks, and we only just barely crossed um, three hundred thousand points score, which is not like super great. I'm trying to keep track of like actual numbers and like the numbers, so for, for like, because usually I just like I play and it's whatever. Like I don't know exactly how many I've done throughout the season. I'm trying to keep track of it a little bit better because I'm rather curious how many I actually do play a season and like my overall win rate. Usually I'm like estimating I do at least like 200. That sounds roughly about right. But how much more than that is that? I've already done 55 this season. And we're not into the days where, like, I actually play a lot of BGs, where I'll do, like, 20, 30 matches in a day. Um, kind of. I could see that if you, like, parry, parry a bunch, get a bunch of power. I could see it a little bit. Sort of. I still don't think it would be, like, amazing. Because he's not blade immune, it still just takes so much damage. We eventually uh, get him up to, to enough power that you throw special one, and you can't mitigate that damage like at all. See exactly, like I know, jeez, oh, like Dooley is like. And there's, and there's more than, like, a Dooley's, like, an example of it, like, we're, and there's other people that have, like, every single the match they play, like, they keep track of it, and what all the bands were. Like, that's way so much work. The amount of extra time that would take to, like, okay, I'm doing this match, here's a match, this is how many times, uh, and, like, track all of, like, your, who I had banned. That is so much work. It's just out of like a curiosity. Like I'm not, I haven't, I haven't written anything down. I'm just like keeping track of it in my head every day, so as to not like forget. Um. So I've played 55 matches this season, and I've lost. Um. Uh, 11. So I'm, I'm currently 44 and 11. Which I believe is exactly eighty percent, right? Is that is that right? Forty. We do forty-four out of fifty-five. Yeah, eighty percent. We're at exactly eighty percent because it was a quarter. Yeah. So we have currently overall in all the matches I played this season, I'm at an eighty percent win rate, but I had only a sixty percent win rate today. Whenever you have a day lower than your average, your average goes down. For your average to go up in any given day, you need to play better than your uh, win rate. Which, 80% is rather high. To keep it that high, I'd have to win every day if I played 10 matches, I have to win 8 of them every day. And only lose 2. So, my win rate's only going to go down. I feel like on average a season, it, it does wind up being... lower than 60% overall. And I'm actually rather curious, because with my estimation of just, like, really rough estimations as to what, like, my win rate is in a season... 
being maybe like 58%. It's like, it sounds terrible. I was like, oh, how can you be... Like, you just have to play enough with that win rate as an overall win rate for that to happen. Because it's, it's more about how you get to the peak is like... Like, that's technically your average, but like you can get, you know, six, seven wins in a row. Um, to climb, and then you could lose, you know, 50% of the time. You're still up there. So you get, like, the bunch in a row that, you know, ups your win rate for a bit, and then you go back and forth for a bunch of matches. You're still up at, up at the top. You haven't... Even though you're, you're lowering your win rate. So it's just... So it's just a statistical kind of oddity. But in order to climb, you do have to be above a 50% on average win rate. So if it was only 50%, um, Exactly, that would mean you didn't have the streaks to put you up there. Because if you did, to wind up at a even 50%, you would have to lose more than 50% of the time, which means you'd go back down. Um, maths, they're weird sometimes. Depends on who you have to use against him. If you have the right champion, like he's super easy to fight. If you don't, then he's kind of a butt. And like really tanky. Yeah, that makes sense. It's always crazy when I match him and I'm like, oh, I usually, it feels so bad because I usually beat him. Like, and he's really good. Like, and there's there's other people too that are like really good, but generally when I match them, I beat them, and they they're like really good players. You know that it's just it's it's weird how certain decks match up versus each other. That you know wind up just in in good. Part of it is you know draft and and skill, but like. Often it feels like just certain decks, when when played with with the person superior, like with that deck, like has the deck advantage, um, and they they play well, just crush it, like Afo. <laughs> That's a little self-serving, don't you think? Um. Like, Nick136 as well. Like, the dude's been in C4. I've never been in C4. But I'm more than... Uh, more frequently than not, when I match him, I beat him. Like, it, it's crazy. And I'm not... I haven't, like, delved into it, like, enough to know, like, the exact specifics of that. But, like, it seems... And there's other people that it's like, you know, it's more like 50-50... Like, um, like even Legacy, I'm pretty sure I'm better than 50% on fighting him as well. I fight, I've, whenever I match him, I, like, maybe, like, more like 60-40, um, 65-35, maybe, um, no, probably closer to 60-40, 62-40, uh, uh, 38, maybe, around there, that's, like, very close to the 60-40 mark. Uh, versus him. But then you'll just have, like, the random Joe Schmo that you'll just, you know, lose against. And it's like, why is that, you know? And part of that is just, like, you know, possibly, like, a confirmation bias. Like, if I fought the Pearson at Perk people I'm losing to more than just that one time, 
as rather than just like a, a random one-off is like you know picking at random you know somebody i do win generally against but the one i do pick happens to be a loss you know um sort of thing statistics are weird man you could you can mess so much up with S statistics are very easy to lie with <laughs> um You can just wind up with something statistically factual, but, like, grossly misrepresentative of, like, reality, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's part of, like, just the randomness of, like, the RNG with AI and, you know, on top of, like, you know, just human error, you know. Um... Like, take, take one of my really good fights that generally goes really, really well. And it's very consistently well. Um, but it just takes a small variation or a, a tiny slip-up for it to go south very, very quickly. And that is... Um, Hulkling versus Nick Fury. That is a very, very consistent matchup. Where a small tweak in in behavior causes a massive impact on how much health you have left and how fast the fight goes. Exactly, the Nick Fury earlier that I that was that was more my fault than the AI though. Yeah, or, or like CGR. I mean, even Titania versus Maestro. Like, if 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 that goes not perfectly, it goes very poorly. But if it does go perfectly, it's a great matchup, and it's really fast. Um, it's definitely not easy, but it's fast when it goes right. When it goes wrong, it's really slow, and you end up losing a lot of health. Yeah, that that's a very very consistent. Um, um, one when you can parry at the start, 100%. Hulkling versus Onslaught is another great example. Um, that's more, much more finicky to go consistent than Nick Fury is. Partly as I've done Nick, the Nick Fury more often. Um, but that's, there, there's more chance in the Onslaught one specifically because of what you need for that matchup. Uh, AI wise and just there's more room for human error because it's so so easy to miss Dex that special one it is it is one of the hardest ones you like you have to go for to do to if you're for battlegrounds if like you're wanting like a good score but if you slip it up in the slightest bit you, it's so punishing um, or as with Nick Fury a special one is is the anomaly if that's thrown. It'll slow you down, but it's not near as punishing as like an onslaught. Um, other other mistakes like if you you know got parried or he doesn't want to throw a special or, or or something and you're just like wasting time due to no like AI, not your own mistakes or anything. Um, yeah, intercepts you. Yeah. Because the science class kind of ruins him a lot. Uh, I think he'd actually be somewhat okay ish right now as a defender. Um, I mean, I don't think it was a zero, but it was like maybe like a couple thousand or whatever. 
uh, or like a couple hundred or something stupid. It was like very, very low. Um, but yeah, like and that's like a matter of timing of like when the mistake happens. Like, oh, did he just go second life and now he's at full health again? Oh, slip up, now you're dead, and he's you know only drained down to like 85 percent. You've you basically wasted a, a minute plus depending on who you used, and got no points for it basically. Oh, what's up, Dark Knighted? I have no idea what you're on about, Chess. You didn't ask a question. Not one that I didn't answer anyway. It's not that I haven't ever gotten a, a zero. It has happened. But I don't know if it has in that specific matchup. I wouldn't be able to say which matchup it's happened. It's only happened like a couple times. And like an actual zero. That is not what you asked, and uh, I already answered what you did ask. And as per usual, in that specifically kind of question, it depends on the meta and who's they have as an uh, as an attacker for it. It's not it's not always so cut and dry. He can be, but he can also be not. It's not like a always yes or always no kind of answer. Uh, I am... what did I do? I was six and... about like 60 some odd points. So like somewhere between 60 and 70. I, yeah, encroaching stuns. I, I, actually, I do remember something like that in, in Archangel versus Nick Fury, where the encroaching stun, like, happened, like, at a really bad time. Yeah. Yep. That Fury is, like, so, like, potent. And then you're just, especially then if he like does a light, you're just dead. Blade will just kill you. Yep. Oh my gosh. Ah, game crash, lovely. All right, peace out, Chills. See, that only works if you win. If you lose, then you're fur even further away from 100 than you are right now. <laughs> And that is the dilemma. 
the climbing dilemma. Well, if you win, like, great. If you lose, well, now you have to play two. And if you lose any of those, like, you, you haven't gone anywhere. And you could very easily spiral into the negatives. But that's a very pessimistic way of thinking. And that is the dilemma. Yeah. Yeah, the spiraling is, is frustrating. Extraordinarily frustrating. It, it literally happens every single season. Um, usually right at the end. Last season was like the one like exception. Like I spiraled down like basically twice in like the third quarter of the season. But in the last few days, um, like a, a few days before the end, I just, I climbed and just parked it. Um, without, without spiraling again at the very, very end. And it was such a relief. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, because then you go down and you're like, oh, okay, great. Now I need to win two to get back to where I was and then, you know, climb up. And then you lose again. It's like, well, now I gotta win three. Okay, you win one. Okay, you're on your way up. You won a second one. So you're back to where you started. Like, okay, now you need the third to get actually improvement. And then you lose. So you, now you've played five matches and you're down one from where you started. It just feels bad. <laughs> exactly, that's the rat race. It's ridiculous. Or in worst case scenario, you, you play, you know, a dozen matches and you're now four, five matches below where you peaked at. Which is even worse. And it's just, you know, you know, the spiral, basically. But it's, it's it's sections of like the season like that though that drop the overall win rate because you you've played way more but you haven't like climbed up a significant portion which means your uh, your win rate went down from wherever it was before that point. Um, cause right now I'm just guesstimating like how many matches overall I play I generally play in a season based on like my score and where I'm actually placed in, in there. But I'm curious, like I'm a little bit more accurate of a number. Am I actually above a 60% win rate by the end of the season? Um, because by my guesstimates, I'm actually a little bit under it. Close to 60, but not quite there. And generally, yeah, I do play a lot of the same. There's a few, like, new ones each season, but there's generally, like, the same, like, handful that I play, like, every season. Like, I'll play Nick, I'll play Dooley a lot. Uh, depending on, like, when we climb, I'll usually match match Legacy. Um, 
Um, Bar Barrow only feel like he drops down, and I happen to catch him there. I've, I've matched him a couple times, not very many times. Um, Andrew, I never match him because he's always up in the top third before I'm ever close um, for proximity. The heck? I can't, I can't, like, park for Mysterium, though. Like, I have to try for um, Celestial because of the rewards. Okay, I just, I got him. It means that I have to play enough to at least secure C6. If I don't, that's where I spiral. I mean, I secured C5 last time, thankfully, because I was, you know, got up there and was high enough that, you know, unless people were playing, my spot didn't move much. C6 will change a lot, but C5, if you're up high enough, like, nobody will go above you. Or at least very few. At the, at the very top, like, 20 people... Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Um, they're just, like... Those people, the top 20, are, like, pushing for, like, the top 10 spots, basically. Um... There's never more than like 10 people in C5 that are like above the 500 mark. needing to because ideally I would have liked I missed out on one objective reset doing that doing what I did but because I secured c5 like the 10 like risking that I was basically if I had, you know played the matches uh, and dropped down in c6 and for losing trying to get the three wins in I was I was risking 10,000 uh, tokens for only getting 1,200. So basically, I had a, a net positive of 7,800 for just parking. There's obviously the, the chance I could have... Because uh, there's a chance I could have lost the 10,000 but had the 1,200. Um, which is a net, you know, the, the 7,800 loss, which is why it's like the positive... There's also the possibility that I, that didn't happen, and I just missed out on only the 1,200 for the, the milestones. But the the risk was not worth the the reward, effort, and just stress of of the potential of of spiraling. It just wasn't worth it because it's so painful. Now the people that like climb up and there's still like a full week left and they park, like that that is wild to me. Or like a week and a half or something, they just go up there like, no, I still wanna play the mode. Then you have like basically a week and a half of not playing any BGs and then a week off season, like how how are you like like I bored out of my mind when there's no BGs to do uh, in the off season. Like, when there's not the possibility of playing. Like, it, it sucks. 
Like, how are you going in the season, like, almost half the season, or like a week and a half, not playing it, and then also having to not play when it's not there? Like, it, it's wild to me. It's a bizarre mindset. Uh, sunspot, in my opinion. Man, go clip. I'd go with Hulk. I do have a Diablo. I technically own everybody uh, at some star level or another, uh, except for Spider Punk, because the only way to currently have him is if you paid for him to have him before he officially comes to the game. So, but I technically have everybody. Spider-Punk is the only champion I do not have owned. No, I have a Mortal Iron Fist. Or are you talking about yourself? I have. You don't even have like a, a like a three or four star one. I wasn't planning on it. I'm free to play, so I don't know spend as the money. You don't, right? Dang, really? That's wild. Um, did you not get the four star? Were you not playing when they when they gave out a free four star uh, gold pool? Luckily, even if it weren't for that one, I did finally pull a 5-star version of, of Gold Pool after all of these years, you know. But, uh, yeah, I have the 4-star. I don't remember when they when they did that. It was a while back. Yeah, BG's is only about a year and a half because we're in season season seventeen. A little little over because of the extra week, so just a little over a week, year and a half old now. 
we're coming up on the, the second second anniversary. Technically. Although they probably won't actually have like the anniversary second anniversary of BGs until like the the twenty fourth season. Even though it would be significantly longer than a full two years because of the whole the break between. Realistically it should happen more closer to um, like season 21-ish. That would be like the two-year mark. 20 or 20, yeah, 20... 1-ish, maybe. That would be 5. That would be more like 20. Season 20-ish. That would be uh, 5 months between... Yeah, it'd be more like season 20 would be like the two year mark of them like joining the game. But we didn't have the year anniversary one celebrated until the 12th season, even though that was technically well over a year from their release. So, depends on how they do it. Um. 12 seasons would have been a, technically a year of them because right, they're each a month long um, but that's not including the, the break time because like since their release it would have been longer but that might just be semantics depends on the meta and like what you're needing out of your deck if you have better options like I think I have Rinsha in my deck, maybe, right now, but Warlock isn't. Just depends on what you need, and what you already have ranked up, what you have the ability to rank up. Like, he used to be really well worth ranking up, specifically for BGs and just gen in general. He's still really good in general, but he has less value in BGs than he used to. Meaning there's better tech champions you could spend the Catalyst on if you have them. If you don't, then he might still be worth ranking up. Not trash, it's just depends on where the rest of your deck sits. For me, he's not as useful. So the people I go up against like can either shred through him and he's too slow offensively for what I go up against at the level I have him at. Seven star is one thing between because like you know I have the seven star and I could rank him up, but I haven't wanted to because I have a max sig, max rank. Um, like if there's a specific meta where like he shines and I like maybe dupe him, I don't really want to do him unduped. And I dupe him, I might rank him up. He'll definitely get ranked up at some point, but uh, I'd rather use the catalyst elsewhere than on a warlock. As much as I like the character. Yeah, he can do bullseyes. Yeah, not too bad for it. A little bit on the slower side of counters. Theory, that seems like very unrelated events. He can be. Certain options go faster than others. 
But again, it's not necessarily needing to be hard to fight against. It just needs to be slow enough depending on what match you have. Like if he, if he serves the purpose you need him to, then he's a good defender. If he doesn't serve what it is you're trying to do in any given matchup, and he's not always going to, because it, that's going to be more draft dependent. Yeah, Red Guardian kind of collapsed. <laughs> so it's kind of ridiculously OP. Yeah, he's not the best, not the worst. I've considered ascending mine. I have mine's rank five, because he has a big health pool. He can be tanky, he can be slightly annoying to fight, depending on who you have. And he can slow you down. If you need someone to do chip damage, Um, uh, because you can go, you know, fast on your matchup, but you're going to lose a little bit of health, then he's not going to be the best. But if you can go, um, you know, a little bit slower, but have really high health in your matchup, and you just need to have your opponent be a significantly slower, depending on who they have to do the matchup, like it can be a good defender. Because what matters is the final result. Like, if it serves the purpose it needs to, such that you can win the matchup, given what you matchup you have, then the matchup you give them is in your favor. Battlegrounds isn't just black and white, like, oh, yes, yes, or, or no. Like, it's, it's, it depends, you know. If, if they have a good matchup, but you have an equally as good one, it can come down to, to skill. If, if, if it's mismatched too bad, then basically no matter what you do, if you have a perfect match, if their match goes reasonably well for what matchup they have, like you just don't have a shot. That's just the nature of Battlegrounds. Exactly. Manipulating maybe who they place and pick by what you place and pick and the order in which you do that. Um, that's why it, it's not just a matter of... It, BG's is not just any skill in any one matchup. It's also knowing strategy. Trying to get into your opponent's head and like making them do things you want them to do to give yourself advantage. Okay, stupid resist. God, I hate standing around. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like to, to talk through what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm... I generally speak out loud what like I'm expecting my opponent to do and what I'm wanting them to do. And you know what? Pretty frequently, they do what I'm expecting. And that's what I want. When they do something I'm not expecting, that's when it throws me off. I'm leading myself into having the best chance of winning by getting them to do what I want them to do. Or what I'm expecting them to do. Sometimes those aren't always the same thing. Um... What I expect them to do and what I want them to do are not always the same. Um. When those line up and they do it, um, meaning like that's their best option but it's still in my favor, then I've done really well. If, if you know, what I expect them to do and what I want them to do are different, 
and they still do what I want them to do, generally that would mean I would, to my thinking, they messed up and gave me advantage because they didn't do what they think they should have, but they did what I actually did want, in fact, want them to do. It's kind, it's kind of complicated, but that's just kind of how I, I process it through. It's lost two in a row, exactly. And sometimes, like, there's there's no way around it. Like, it just, you know, because the, the drafts could just go that poorly, you know. The, the kind of randomness will fall into that. Um, sometimes it could be, like, overall ability of who you're, uh, you're fighting, you know, whether or not they would do what you would expect to do, given what a champion is capable of. What you might know they're capable of and, and could pull off maybe yourself, but your opponent might not be able to. Uh, Aldo Sapiens, yo, what's up? Yeah, no, not today. They'll, they very, if they're going to happen next weekend, they'll probably announce something Monday. That's usually what they do, like the, the Monday before the the weekend offers. They'll announce like, oh, this thing is coming to the game. Be on the lookout for them. Uh, and since we never got that this Monday is why it's like people are like... Yeah, no. And plus, it was earlier than what it was this, uh, last year for the event, so we expected to see it the, the following. Some people were thinking, like, oh, yeah, it's going to be now. Like, no, no, you're, you're a little bit early. There's a, there's a lot of anticipation for it. People, people want those rewards. Because when, when they're caught up with content, they want something that they can get that has meaningful impact. Because right now, once everything's caught up, there's nothing to do that has impact that's meaningful, rewards-wise. Um, there's nothing to, to shoot for, specifically. Um... I mean, technically, I suppose, yeah, I'd give them extra crit rate. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure, sure how much um, it gives them. Let's see, that is Morbius. Nobody likes Morbius that much. Um... Yeah, it's probably the probably the best form. There's not a. Yeah. Who do I? Which one do I have on him? I have the Wolverine one on him. Because uh, the Sinister one, I I don't have the three star Sinister. So it's the Sinister copy I don't have. So, yeah. I could probably take the five star one off of him though, because he's generally not used offensively. And I could give him a different one. It's not like a huge amount of precision. I mean, it's a little bit. And realistically, you want to give them the highest possible. Prowess potency. Um, which would end up being more? The prowess potency on, on hit or the attack bonus? I'm actually rather curious. Yeah, the Wolverine one's pretty useless. It's 
Sunspot, when he throws a special two, like he he has passive prowess on his specials, uh, equivalent to however many charges he has. Um, the storm one though is more about unblockability and not the prowess themselves. Which Sunspot does not have. Um, Cause yeah, you get effect with plus five plus, but Sunspot's not getting five, so. Um, it's not technically impossible, but yeah. He doesn't get the unblockable. Prowess effect duration, that it's not applicable. The energy resistance down would be slightly applicable, but. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst, but... Sinister's not bad, either. Um... Yeah, that, uh... Mostly sums up what I could possibly do right now. Let's, uh, I just need the units from this, and, uh... Which unfortunately is like half a million points. It's rather it's rather high, but it takes like seven matches to do. BGs now I can't I'm because I don't have that much energy to work with. I need to like conserve matches until I can get more energy, basically. So I can't I can't burn through all because I only have like nine-ish more matches to do with Elder's Marks. So I can't burn through all those, like, right now. I don't have enough energy to keep doing BGs the rest of the season. Um, so I need, to, I need to slow down a little bit. Don't I miss some points? Yeah, I, th I think the, the effects of, is probably pretty negligible for the like the what Storm does for Sunspot. So yeah, his his best one's probably probably sinister. But, uh, yeah. So, are we... Hold on, where are we at? Yeah, I thought that... Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, base. Ridiculous. We're kind of hitting this point though, because I'm gonna need a break. I've got other things to take care of as well. He's also a good attacker, Chess. He's not just a defender. Yeah, that's technically true, but like the majority of the damage isn't because of the, the debuff itself. It's like you want just the biggest special possible, and the bigger the special, the, the more damage the, the, the incinerate does after the fact anyway. So, uh, Storm 1 is like actually meant for Bishop. I think the Vicious is negligible in that case.
Like I said, I'm usually right. I say this a lot. I'm not wrong very often. Yeah, Wolverine like is like just there because like the combat, the relic combat power basically, being the six star has like a charge the fastest. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I do. I say that. I do. I do. In fact, I say these things. He can be, he can be annoying defense, but like his health pools are rather on the small side, so if they have a fair enough option, then he's gonna die really quickly. Again, it's the situations, like he can be good and he can be not good. It's not a always yes or always no. The game does not work like that. Matter of options and skill level. And uh, AI and just timings of stuff. With him specifically more than a lot of others. Just the way he works. Do the reverse milestones. Yeah, to be bad. Units are looking per day. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. Like, I really want to open. My battle chips just to have my units go bigger. <laughs> Give me a little bit of gold boost and potentially give me the refills I need as well. Which is like kind of where I'd want to open them early. But I also want to like do a proper like 5 mil 100, you know, crystal opening. Uh, are you having a stroke? You would think uh, people would know, but... They didn't, they don't, what? Are you having a stroke? If you're not, you're giving me something. I don't know. Uh, yes, you can tell that. Um, it always tells you in the top, like, bar. Of, of a match um, based on the color who who has the next action you are blue they are red so if the, the top bar shows blue you have the next action if it shows red um, they have the next action so when you're when you're doing the the banding at the very start if at the top is blue you have to pick first if it's red they have to pick first and whoever picks first has to place first round one And then it alternates. So they would place first round two, and then you'd have to place first round three. It's just the way that they iconed it. Um, 
it always shows like the order of, of the actions so it'll like blue shield red fist or power or whatever it looks like um like in the little the top like toolbar looking ish thing it's always been that way it just unless you're actually looking out for it it's easy to like overlook Once you see it and recognize it, it's pretty obvious. But it's just something that's very easily overlooked. So a lot of people don't pay attention to it, so they just don't know. Just one of them things that happens. But it is one of those things where it's like, you either have to get told it, or if you are paying enough attention to you know the surroundings and stuff, that it'll, you'll catch on to it. Um, if, if you're never ever told, but but it's not like it's it's like somewhere like that's ever explained that that's like a thing. Um, it's just part of the part of part of how it it, it goes through the process. Because he's not really great for Battlegrounds, that's why. Like, if he was ever going to be used, like, now would be the Metaphorum when he's, you know, people are running recoils and he's got the extra attack. And look at that, I called it. it. takes seven rounds to hit the 500k milestone. I didn't click, I was swiping! Jerk faces. But, yeah. That's all. You have a request? So help me, if it's to read your next message, I will slap you. Eat some protein. That was gonna be my second guess. Not really, but like that—that's that does sound like you. So I respect that. I do need a snack though, so I'm gonna munch a little something before dinner. I guess maybe finish off the brownies and then that I can wash that container. Or brownie, it's like the edge. Long edge of brownie. Uh, which won't be like amazing because it's, you know, they're kind of crunchy brownies. They're not like soft, so. Slightly sad. Slightly. Next batch will surely. Oh, I need to go get the mail too. Yeah, I've got stuff that just needs taken care of after this. I'm done here, so this is uh, last fight, and we're gonna call it there. Um, I've got stuff that needs taken care of. Let's get the. Um, This will work. We got um, okay. Cooperate with me here. We got uh, Ghost Dog with uh, Abido on call. Ghost Dog finishing up Act Eight. Um. So let's uh, let's go and show Ghost Dog some support as he is doing what I apparently is supposing to be like the end of his mcoc uh, career so uh, let's see um, if you want to go show him a little love wish him uh, good luck on finishing up the act and uh, some good rewards hopefully but 
Thank you guys so much. Good good little stream. Got a good bit of battlegrounds in there. Hung out, chilled. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Peace out and have yourselves a great night. Till next time.